Hi guys, welcome back to Sparky Face 5. Today is just a very quick video, I haven't even really edited it. It's just in response to Angus's latest video about how to export STLs from Fusion 360. Um, I have an alternate method for exporting for dual extrusion. And uh, here it is, I hope you enjoy it and get something out of it just quickly. Have a great day guys and happy printing. Ciao! Okay, so um, one of the things that can happen is if you create a separate component, the origin can be wrong. Like if you're modeling and you decide to make a new component, it has a separate origin. I believe you can copy and paste these origin information into your other component. But what I want to say is that you can actually export just whatever's visible. So if I can get used to how to move around fusion again hide the white body and I only want to export all these red ones I can just go up to the top where my component begins and export as STL and you see I've already done this but we'll do it again yes I want to replace it and oh gosh Okay, and then we open Simplify 3D, import Snowflake 5, and you can see I only got the pieces that were visible. If we go back now and do the hard stuff, there's probably a quicker way to make things not visible if I don't know what it is yet. But uh, I want to hide all the red bits. Just keep the main white body. What else am I missing here? It's a lot of bodies. Keep going, keep going. Just keep clicking, just keep click. Okay. We're almost there. There must be a quicker way to do this. Anyway, the point is that you're only going to export what's visible. So now I only have the white body visible of my snowflake. And I go up to the component and save as STL. And hope my computer doesn't crash. And I'll click OK. We'll call this, uh, yeah, OK, version 6, it's fine and go into simplify and import version 6 and you can see we'll just move it my two separate STLs here and I didn't have to create new components so I didn't have to worry about the origin changing and I just um, why did I do this before I think we align origins and you can see it's perfectly lined up ready to print with your dual extruder setup so yeah it's even simpler it's even simpler than that whatever's visible is is what's going to be exported so anything that's invisible will be neglected